Astronomers have made what they think is the most important finding ever about an explosion. This supernova, which is the scientific name for a star exploding, is more than 10 times brighter than any other supernova that has ever been seen before. It has been seen for longer than most supernova, which are usually only bright enough to be seen for a few months at most. This one's been going on for more than three years now. One theory says that the blast happened because a black hole ate a huge cloud of gas. In the year 2020, the first place in the world to immediately recognize and record a flash in the sky was the Zwicky Transient Facility in California. But it wasn't until a year later, when scientists were looking through the data, that they found it. They called the thing that happened AT2021 LWX. Because there was no way to tell how far away it was, and because of this, there was no way to measure how amazing it was, they thought that it was nothing special at the time. The year before, a group from the University of Southampton led by Dr. Philip Wiseman looked at the light from the event. This gave them the information they needed to figure out how far away it was, which they found to be 8 billion light years. Dr. Wiseman talked about the time when they first realized how brilliant the occurrence was. We thought to ourselves, oh my gosh, this is crazy. The group didn't know what could have made something shine so brightly, so they were very confused. Dr. Wiseman said that the scientific literature didn't have any good answers for something that was so brilliant and lasted for so long. It is thought that most supernova and tidal disruption events only last a few months before they fade away. Something shining for more than two years at once was so out of the ordinary that it shocked everyone right away. He thinks that the blast happened because a supermassive black hole ate a huge cloud of gas. This cloud of gas could have been billions of times bigger than our sun. This would send shock waves through space, and what was left of the cloud around the black hole would be superheated and shaped like a huge ring donut. Most people agree that there is a huge black hole at the heart of every galaxy. Dr. Wiseman thinks that very large blasts like these could be a big part of what he calls the sculpting of the centers of galaxies. It's possible that even though these events don't happen very often, they are so powerful that they play a key role in how the centers of galaxies change over time. Dr. Robert Massey, the deputy executive director of the Royal Astronomical Society, says that scientists are now looking for more big blasts like the one that just happened. We've never seen anything like this before. And certainly not on this scale, he told BBC News. It would blow my mind if this were the only thing in the universe that was exactly like this one. Dr. Wiseman is very hopeful that the new telescope systems that will be up and running in the next few years will help him find more events like this one. The group will now try to learn more about the explosion by looking at the object in different bands, such as X-rays, which may show the temperature of the object and what is happening on its surface. They will also run better computer simulations to see if they fit their theory about why the explosion happened. This past year, scientists found a gamma-ray burst, also called GRB 221009A, that lasted a little longer than 10 hours. It was the brightest explosion ever seen. Even though this was brighter than AT2021 LWX, it only lasted a fraction of the time, which shows that the AT2021 LWX blast was much more powerful. How does a supernova happen? When a big star is dying, its last hurrah can cause a certain kind of explosion. This happens when a star with at least five times the mass of our Sun bursts with a force that is a million times stronger than our Sun's. Massive stars use up a lot of nuclear fuel at their bases, which are also called their cores. This causes a huge amount of energy to be made, which quickly heats up the body. When a star's nucleus burns, it makes heat which in turn makes pressure. Because of this pressure, the star doesn't fall apart under its own weight. A star stays in place by keeping two forces that work against each other in balance. The star's gravity pushes on it, trying to make it into the smallest, most tight ball it can. But the burning nuclear fuel in the star's heart is what makes the strong pressure on the outside. This push outward fights against the pull of gravity that comes from inside. What makes the star stay together? 
It's hard to find the right balance between the star's gravity pulling inward and the pressure and heat of its core pushing outward. When a really big star runs out of power, it starts to cool down and then goes away. The pressure goes down because of this. Gravity wins in the end, and the star breaks into pieces all at once. Imagine that something with a mass a million times that of Earth exploded in less than two minutes. The fall happens so quickly that it makes huge shockwaves, which in turn cause the outer layers of the star to explode. Most of the time, all that's left behind is a very dense center in a nebula, which is an expanding cloud of hot gas. If a star bigger than about 10 times the size of our Sun goes supernova, it could leave behind black holes, which are the most dense things in the universe. A second type of supernova can happen in systems with two stars that circle each other. At least one of the stars must be a white dwarf with the same mass as Earth. A white dwarf is what's left behind when a star the size of our Sun runs out of fuel. White dwarfs can explode if they get too close to other white dwarfs, or if they pull too much matter from the stars around them. Kaboom! How bright are the supernova's lights? These amazing things can sometimes shine brighter than their own galaxies for days or even months at a time. Outshining is the name for this type of thing. You can see them everywhere in the universe. How often do supernovas happen? Not very. Astronomers think that about two or three supernovas happen every hundred years in galaxies like our Milky Way. Scientists see a few hundred supernovas every year outside of our galaxy. This is because the universe has a very large amount of galaxies. Most of the supernovas that happen in the Milky Way can't be seen because of the dust in space. What lessons can we learn from supernovas? Scientists have learned a lot about the world by studying supernovas. They use the second type of explosion, which involves white dwarves, as a ruler to figure out how far apart different places in space are. They have also learned that the stars are where everything in the universe is made. All of the basic elements that are used everywhere in the universe come from stars. In the centers of stars, simple elements like hydrogen are turned into more complicated elements. These more solid elements, like carbon and nitrogen, are necessary for live things to work. Gold, silver, and uranium are all heavy elements that can only be made by very large stars. When big stars burst in what is called a supernova, they send both the elements that they have been saving up and the ones that they have just made out into space. How do experts find out more about supernova? NASA astronomers use many different kinds of telescopes to look for and study supernovas. Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, or New Star, for example, is a project that uses X-ray vision to look into the universe. Scientists are using New Star to get better at observing supernovas and young stars so that they can learn more about what happens before, during, and after these spectacular explosions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.